Hello guys, it's me Gluff back again and today they can release their new update called Assassin and Trickster Balance. So the main thing in this update is the balancing of the Trickster and the uh, Assassin. So uh, we can take here for example the Assassin. The poisons uh, were a big problem before it because they were slow and uh, like the damage was very slow. So now they added faster poison, so it takes uh, faster to shoot. And then when it impacts, it gives 200 damage directly, and then faster uh, and more damage. Uh, yeah, as we can see here, uh, 200 damage on impact. Uh, I, and I think they increased the range a little bit, so it's easier to hit now. They've added a lot of features now, because uh, on the keyboard you can press uh, uh, M for toggle the whole key for particles monster. Uh, and you can hit N for uh, ally projectiles, so if I want to see other projectiles, I can just press N. So that's uh, kind of cool. Uh, another thing they did is uh, when a quest is killed, it instantly will show another quest if you have the level for it. So if you're level 20 and uh, kill a cube god uh, or kill an ant and then uh, it spawns a cube gun, uh, it should be there directly. And they also buffed the, the trickster's uh, prism. So uh, as we can see uh, here on this normal one, the targets move moves a little bit faster. You can see moves a lot faster and uh, goes a little bit longer than I before. Uh, so we can see here eight squares in 1.45 seconds. So that's kind of fast. And uh, uh, here, the prism of dire instability. If you press this, and it goes super fast, and then damage. I think they added a little bit more damage, and uh, I don't have the ghostly prism, but they increased the damage a lot uh, on the ghostly prisms. Prism, so that's nice. I I think it was uh, 40 to 90 damage before, and now they added it, or they added more to 320 to 480 damage damage so that's a lot of damage that's a lot of damage that's good because uh, the uh, ghostly prism wasn't really that useful before so they increased the uh, time here on the brain of the golem 2 to 7 seconds uh, uh, before it was uh, 6 seconds so yeah and here the prism of apparitions uh, the tier 6 gives 8 seconds, so that's, uh, I think it's the longest one right now, so that's uh, kind of nice, so this actually have a, a use now, if you want to have a very long uh, or active uh, decoy, so that's nice. Guys, you won't believe this, but they actually did buff the sea dirt now. Uh, they did remove 10% of the rate of fire. But the damage was 105 to 210, uh, and now they increased it to 130 to 250. So that's a nice increase of damage and gives the Dirt Cronus more damage per shot than the Etherite. Uh, and also, uh, the Wisdom bonus was 4 before, uh, now they added it up to 6, so that's um, nice. And the range was 4.48, and now it's 4.5. So the Etherite Dagger was 109 accuracy before, uh, or rate of fire, uh, and they added it up to 110. Then the damage was 115 to 200, 215, and now they it's 110 to 215. And the shot speed is was before uh, 190, and they added it up to. 160 and they uh, decreased the range a little bit uh, so finally I think cedar is better than Etherite. finally they also uh, added more fame bonus to some items uh, as their resu resurrected warrior's armor from 4 to 5 uh, and feed power 500 to 900 uh, plague po poison was 4% 4, 4 before, and now they added it up to 6%. And the feed power from 450 to 1000. The Dokunoken was 4% frame bonus, and they added it up to 5%. And 
the feed power to 800 percent the tablet of the king avatar the worst spell in the world uh, is now six percent fame bonus and spectral cloth armor was a shy two before two percent fame bonus and now it's five again so or not again but yeah five that's good one more thing with the decoys now it has the skin it shows the skin and the colors that I ha that I have right now so finally you can have uh, uh, your skin as a decoy what they also did to mystic and with the stasising orb uh, is now in experimental you can see here curse indication so if you press on now finally you can see a red glow around uh, something that is cursed so we can uh, go, go here to Gunlands and this is red glow behind they also redesigned the tinkerer now so here we can see the normal quests with the dungeon uh, all as normal and here we have another tab called events so here's the all the shards and love letters uh, and uh, the monthly challenge and everything like that and this update brings also the end of uh, hearts so hearts can't drop anymore and um, I think uh, you can't trade them in the last day for trading them in is the 11th of March so that's uh, three more days and um, you can't get the hearts anymore so you have to buy them in the description I will leave the link uh, for the whole update because I can I can't cover everything so you can see for yourself uh, the statistics of new poisons and uh, prisms and uh, other things that I haven't mentioned. In my heart, in my heart.